Hello and welcome back. Um, today in this episode, I'm going to be taking this thing, which is basically a whiteboard. And uh, right here, as you see, a little whiteboard, so you dry erase board. And I'm going to be um, basically making a frame for it and uh, giving it to my wife because it's one of her requests. Uh, she wants a whiteboard. She does a lot of, uh, she's doing some uh, online uh, language classes here um, through uh, the YouTube. I'll see if I can put a link up there if any of you want to want to see it. Um, she speaks uh, Korean and Japanese and English, I guess. Um, so... That's what I'm making for her today, and uh, as you see, I marked, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you see where I marked about the size that she wants, about this size right there. So I got this, uh, I got this for free. Um, it was uh, damaged, and the uh, person was going to throw it away, and so uh, I came by and picked it up. I had 20 feet of it two boards about 10 foot, 10 foot 10 foot long by four foot and uh, I have this piece and maybe another another piece I only have about uh, I would say about four four or six foot of it left so that's what I'm gonna be doing to make today I'm making dry erase board um, so I'm gonna be mitering with my with this you know, if you've seen the episode series on this, um, you know what this is. This is uh, the 12 inch double bevel compound sliding miter saw. It's quite big. Um, and this is now going to be my new miter saw here, which I'm going to be eventually, as you know from my other episode series, um, my wall of. Well, my working wall, I guess I should say. It's going to be, this This wall is eventually going to be shelves and a table. And uh, so I'll put a link up there if you're all interested, if you want to, or subscribe to uh, to get the updates on that. Um, so it's an open wall, uh, open stud here. And I can just do anything. Uh, I'm going to do some wiring so I can get some dedicated outlets here. Um, I only have one inlet coming in, and that one inlet right there, basically, uh, let me see here, I have to walk around this thing. So that's, that's the inlet, comes from, uh, comes through the house, and this is a detached garage, and it goes, comes out of the house, goes underground, comes into the garage, and this is the only outlet here that's really powering the garage here, and, and I'm starting to get some tools, especially if you've seen my um, episode series on this compressor. Uh, you'll see what happens if I try to use an extension cord. Uh, I'll put a link up on there for you as well. And you'll see that, uh, well, it's not enough power. It needs direct connection. So I'll, my, my problem is if I got air compressor going on and uh, I got my miter saw going on for whatever reason, you know, the air compressor can run out of air, and, and it'll go for a while, and then I need to, you know, maybe cut something in my, my miter saw. Well, uh, I might have to wait, and, you know, that waiting kind of just annoys me. Plus, plus I got my welder. So, not that I'm going to be welding and miter saw at the same time, but mainly the, compress uh, the air compressor is what I'm more concerned about. And not only that, but I want to get, if you, again, if you, I'll put a link on the, uh, uh, air compressor uh, series. Um, I want to get two air compressors, and now combining, you know, two air compressors will give me an effective uh, accumulative CFM, um, a higher CFM. So, and and one of these running takes up a lot of power. So if I had two of these running on the same outlet, I don't. It could trip my breaker, and I'll be just going back and forth to the breaker box. Um, so I want to get a dedicated um, line for my compressors. I want to get a, a 
240 outlet as well for my welder. Um, maybe, maybe a couple 240 outlets. Um, and also, in the event of a uh, of uh, a blackout or a hurricane, uh, there's not really going to be any earthquakes where I'm from, but maybe where you're from, there's going to be an earthquake, a flood, uh, you're going to be snowed in, um, I don't know, computer error on the electricity grid, uh, the world goes to hell, you name it, you know, run for the hills kind of situation, but, uh, you know, I have a generator, uh, which I do plan on using for my welder until I can get my garage hooked up. But, uh, you know, another thing I can do is uh, have my generator plugged into um, to the 240 outlet and, and back into the house. Uh, I got to make sure that the, uh, the main, uh, main panel is uh, disconnected from the uh, grid. Um, but, uh, but the point is that I, I, I can do that. And uh, it could power the house, at least air conditioning and refrigerator, etc. So, so I got a you know a lot of things here open for me to uh, to do. And then maybe I could put the washer and dryer in here, um, or whatever washer, dryer, dryer, washer, whatever else I can put in here. Another refrigerator, um, freezer. So eventually, you know, I got a lot of lot of raw material to work with. As you can see, a lot of raw material to work with, and uh, so I'm going to be um, busy. But anyway, today I'm going to be w working on this. You know, no, don't worry, I'll put the links up there so if you're curious about it. But uh, this is what I'm going to be working with here: this dry erase board, and I'm going to make my wife a nice little dry erase board so she could, uh, you know, do her do her teaching. And so here's my table saw. I'm sorry I'm facing the driveway. It's a really sunny day out here. Uh, so let me kind of clean off the lens because it tends to not sharpen. There we go. So it's a really nice bright day out here. It's been raining for a couple of days. Um, I know one of the viewers requested that I not have my garage open, but uh, you know, it's so nice. Uh, just can't help it. So here's my table saw and my modified sled, which I haven't made a new one yet. But uh, this is just for ripping, and I'm going to be ripping uh, basically some of these boards up here that I got, also scrap, uh, got for free, just picked it up. So I'll take uh, a couple of those, maybe maybe just two pieces, um, and I'll be able to, uh, they have rounded edges, so I'm going to round the corners, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut off the corners to give me a straight edge, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a frame out of this, um, uh, make a frame out of the... The, the pieces of wood and then put that into the frame and I got a quarter inch plywood a lot of quarter inch plywood which I will uh, use it as, uh, as a backer for that frame so here we go so I guess uh, you know what's up next uh, um, of course you all know this is unedited uncut it's already uh, I'm looking at nine minutes into it before I even done anything and uh, if for those of you who know about my style of videos, it's long. You can just skip through it. Uh, for those who, of you who are new, um, this is all raw footage. I don't edit. I don't uh, cut or I'll stop the video to do something and restart it, but usually that's another episode. Uh, but feel free to jump around, go on to the next episode, go to the last episode if you really just don't want to bother. And uh, so I'll just, I, I just, I just step right up here. Great thing about having the stack of plywood is that I can, I can now step up and get to all these freaking pieces right here. I just grabbed me some. See, uh, sorry. See all the pieces I have. I have a lot of pieces here. So keep me busy. Definitely keep me busy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just grab me few pieces here that uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter they're short they're gonna be all short pieces so um, I, let's just grab uh, two uh, okay uh, here you go uh, I'm just gonna grab 
grab these pieces here. There we go. I see some of them are not in really good condition, but I'll try to make the, make the mist, make the best out of it. All right. I really have to, have to I'll climb up there and get it, but I don't really want to do that. Okay. There we go. Well, as, as you can see, they're not. Uh, if you look at them, they're not. They're not really that straight. Um, so this is already warping bent, but this isn't ideal actually. But again, you know, I can, it's not going to be the greatest, but it's scrap piece. This is a pretty good piece right here. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but you see how the rounded corners, so I'm going to make, cut these corners off, get a straight edge here. And uh, this is a pretty good piece. I might have to grab another one because that's such a, that's such, such a crappy, really crappy uh, piece. Throw, throw all the my styrofoam pieces because uh, you know I could uh, melt the dissolve them and then uh, make a mold out of that. So I haven't done anything yet, but uh, I plan on doing that. Use some acetone, basically dissolve it, and then um, because you know you think that stuff is pretty toxic and it kind of it is for, for the most part but you know i it's it's an engine cleaner it's it's an if you're a mechanic you're probably around it all the time uh if you if you're a woman you probably uh, remove your nail polish off uh with acetone so um you know anyways uh yeah take some styrofoam and the, the eps expanded styrofoam and uh yeah, this piece is uh, straighter so I can use this. I'll use I'll, I'll use all of them, and um, you know, you, 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 it gets dissolved, and basically, um, what you got left is um, a piece of plastic that you can remold into something. Um, uh, so, and that's what they're kind of good for. I haven't done any. I, I played around with it a little bit, but uh, I haven't quite figured out a good use for it yet um, or I haven't had a chance to to use it but I, I guess I will anyways so let's uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use the straightest board first and so and I do have the garage open because I don't I don't have a shop back yet so it gets kind of dusty here so sorry if the lighting's not that great oh well So, okay. So I'll just go ahead and just measure out. Uh, this is my straight edge for this project here. That's going to be my fence. So this is my homemade, uh, well, modified homemade uh, sled. And I, I could put up a link here for this modified, how I did it. It's basically from my old, uh, from my old table saw that I, that I specifically made. The problem is now the guides. These guides are uh, the new table saw is a different distance between each other, so the sled wouldn't work. So uh, to make it work, I had to cut in half and use one side of the sled of the slots here. And uh, of course, this is what I chose to uh, cut in the middle. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is measuring from here to here, and that's going to be I think two and a quarter. So ultimately, this whole thing is going to be two inches, because I believe right now it's. Um, if I measure out here, it's about two. It's about two and a half. If you could see that, so, let's put that in a, in a better view here. So it's about. It's about two and a half. So 
you're looking about two and a half inches. Um, let's see. You can measure it another way. I guess another way would be to, to do it this way. See if I, if I read it backwards. There's one inch, two inch. It's upside down. But two and a half. Okay. Well, don't you already have a phone? Yeah, but I'll trade you for uh, the airplane. So. For that phone? Does it work? What'd you do? Find it on the ground? I did an episode series on uh, on uh, the RC helicopter is what she's talking about. Yeah. She. They bit your finger? No, no, no this amateur guy almost like, almost could have hurt me because he was like in Tessa's way and she was trying to step and then I was like, and then I accidentally hit her tire and then I dropped. Oh, okay. So amateur I, kid. Yeah, amateur kid. Yeah, so I found the stone. Okay, so, so it belongs to somebody. I know. I told her, but that see. was somebody. It can't be hers. I know that. Oh, oh, I made it turn on. No, good. Wait, hold I made on, it turn on. on. Stop, stop. stop. Oh, it's, it's somebody's. And hold on, hold on. Stop, hold Jasmine! On. Stop. My breaking. Okay, it's it's on. It's an HTC. Oh, you say MP3. Yeah, it's just MP3 on the back. Oh, it's just MP3. Maybe they have someone's name on this. Uh, well, we, we don't know. Okay, okay. okay Stop it. Well, hold, hold hold on to it. It belongs to somebody, and it it it, it is a phone. Stop it! I'm not. I it, found it. It is a phone. Okay, someone dropped it. Stop. Someone okay, probably probably middle school. All right, go away, kids. Go go inside. Um, I would put some alcohol. Yeah, go ahead, put some alcohol. alcohol. I don't know. How about just rinse it in water? Okay. What about bandages? Well, you know where it is. Go get them. Damn kids. They're all brain dead, damaged. I wonder if I was like that. Anyways, un uncut, unedited. You you saw it. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, so it's about two and a half inches. What I do is I, uh, I'll measure two, uh, a little bit over two and a half. Anyways, uh, two and a quarter, two inch. So I measure two and a quarter to try to get a straight edge or then two inch cut off this because they're rounded. As you can see, they're slightly, slightly rounded. And, uh, let me see here. See? You can't see. Okay. So they're slightly rounded. Sort of. So this is just scrap material. I just use it as whatever. I don't really even smooth it out. Um, and when I make the frame, I don't really finish it. It's kind of just left that way. You've probably seen the uh, a bigger dry erase board that I, that I did on a different episode of my introduction video, uh, which I'll post a link on there too if you want to see it. So anyways, let's get started. Um, Okay, I'll put you back in all the holster here. There we go. Okay. And uh, so let's see here. I want to measure out two inches from from this edge to the corner of the blade, and I'm gonna need a. Uh, It's all homemade, so uh, it's come in real handy, very, very handy, I have to admit, a little too handy, but anyways, let's go back to measuring this, so what I want to do is I want to, let me see which one is it, okay, I got it on the wrong side. I like using the um, this particular one here has a increment of 30 seconds of an inch and that's one I like to use that's the one I like to use when I'm measuring out so 
so it really gives me a good detail on it. I'm not sure if you can, you can see this or not, but I apologize if you don't. And so what I'm doing is I'm measuring, oh, let's use a different, let's use a different one, a smaller one, there we go. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring from inside the blade to the inside of my straight edge. So this inside dimension is what I want to be two and a quarter. So for some of you, this is really boring. You already know this. Go ahead and skip around. I could probably come up with a better system than this, but right now that's all I have. Crap. Crap. Okay. I do have a better system. I'm going to have to use it. So, let's see here. Where is it? Where is my better system? Where'd it go? Hmm. Okay. That's strange. I thought I had it, but maybe I don't. <sighs> okay, well that is kind of weird. I lost my wooden rip fence somewhere, but that's all right. Hold on. I have to cut out here. Hold on.